Hi everyone, welcome back. Uh, last time we used some fluorescent blue and applied that with a paintbrush, a flat brush, and just very loosely indicated a Devon landscape and a field with two cows standing and one lying down sitting in the foreground. Now I'm going to do what's called a colour beginning. And this is a really fun and easy way of creating a range of textures and colours on the painting and you know just seeing what kind of effects you get. So I'm going to begin by applying a very dilute mix of the fluorescent blue in a rather haphazard fashion to the middle ground here. And I want that to move around a little bit more on the page, so I'm going to spray my paper with water. And for the most part, I'm going to fill in the areas around the cows. Uh, these particular cows are sort of a burgundy red brown, so I don't, I don't want too much pure blue on them. But if a little bit wanders across the outlines, that's absolutely fine. And now having done that, I'm going to add some cadmium yellow and do the same thing. And so that cadmium yellow will give us greens where it overlaps the blue and some purer yellow where it encounters a region of pure white. And now let's do the same thing with a splodge of ultramarine blue, very dilute, and apply that to the background. Perhaps bring some of that colour up into the sky. Next, I'll add some yellow ochre. And this is a warm, earthy colour, as you can see. Not a tone you would normally associate with being in the, the sky on an English summer's day. But when I paint over that in blue a bit later on, that warm undercoat will probably peek through in a few places. And it can give a real sense of warmth and sort of heat to the sky, uh, in some circumstances at least. But let's pop a bit of that yellow ochre into the field regions as well. And maybe even on the cows, now that I think about it, we could fill in the cows with that yellow ochre as well. Let's kill that white paper where it's still showing through. So I'm keeping the paint fairly thin. I'll still be able to see my initial lines, even though, as you can see, I'm very loosely applying the paint. There we go. So the paper looks, well, a little bit of a mess at the moment, but as you can see, I've pretty much killed all of the white, all of the blank paper. And this first layer of paint with this kind of random mix of colours will give me a good grounding when I go on to the next stage, which will be to block in the sky in a much more appropriate colour. So I hope to see you next time. If you have any questions at all about colour beginnings or any other aspect of my art, 
then please feel free to leave a comment in uh, below this video. Uh, please remember to subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you next time.